Hey folks, welcome to a sort of weird episode. Uh, it'll be truncated, although not, well, you know, it'll be truncated. But welcome to um, Death Stranding on the Mysterious JG. Uh, so as you guys already know from the last video, I've got a new recording set up and it's, uh, well, I'm still hoping it's going to be great when I got it working. But uh, after recording a bunch of um, Yakuza Like a Dragon, where everything seemed to be okay, although going back and re-examining, I think had a little bit of drift and sound sync at the end of long videos, and um, playing some Legend of Mana, where I had a noticeable like one or two second desync between my commentary and what was on the screen, uh, I played it, it had a Death Stranding, our last episode, you saw that turn into a mess, the game visuals, the game sound. And my commentary were all clearly out of sync by the end when we were having a conversation with, um, I don't even know what to call Mama and her sister melded into one being, which is now half dead, half alive. Uh, the Doublement Twins, I was calling them a devil. Pleasure is waiting for you. That's kind of a name I came up for them while trying to come up with a video description as opposed to while doing video. Anyway, yeah, it's all gotten to be a bit of a mess. Um, well, that video is a bit of a mess, and then I was like, yeah, I'll record one more tonight and I'll figure out settings and stuff because I needed to get two videos recorded. Well, guess what? The la the video that I just recorded, well, actually recorded it last night. Uh, absolute train wreck. Uh, all I did to change the settings was have it pull my commentary out as a separate file. Um, and that can't have been what caused this, but it just fell apart. I came out with a video that instead of, instead of my source video of gameplay being like, you know, about three gigs is my average uh, at the settings I'd been using. It came out like a couple hundred megabytes, and uh, yeah, you can kind of tell from the file size things aren't going to be good. And it's like a slideshow with no audio of heavily pixelated nonsense. It's the wrong length. It's a complete mess, completely unsalvageable. And Death Stranding is not a game that makes it easy to go back and redo content. So... I suppose I, could, I didn't really try the, but um, what I've done is I've, I did story advancement a little bit. I, at the end of our last video, in that crazy dialogue that went to hell, we were being dispatched to deliver a stone or a series of stones that a, um, one of those uh, weirdos out there that we deliver stuff to called the spiritualist thought were the keys to something important. And the game basically said, go deliver this shit to her. The story's not going to advance. So we went to deliver it to her. And that involved, again, really forcing uh, the motorbike to go places it didn't want to go, but getting it to go there by finding the appropriate paths in the snow. And that's what I did. And then after that, well, after that, uh, we had some dialogue where uh, Dead Man wanted us to come pick up BB, uh, but don't come to my lab, whatever that is. I don't even know that we know where it is. We know where Hartman's lab is, though the story hasn't told us to go there yet. Dead Man was like, well, there's a cabin in the woods that I'm using. Come there. Or in the mountains. So it, it was another place it wanted us to go that involved driving around the mountains. And um, I went there. And that was most of the video was getting there. But then as I was trying to close the video, I got close enough that I triggered story, thinking I'd have a chance to save outside before going in. No, you get within a certain radius it triggers story. And there's a big, long story sequence. So what I have done is I have found two YouTube videos that don't have commentary of somebody playing through this section. And the first one is from someone called Paranoia's Dungeon. They have more subscribers than I do, hence my ability to find their video, because it's pretty freaking hard to find the videos of somebody who doesn't already have followers if they're not paying. Whatever, I'm not here to bitch about that. Uh, so they've got a video that I was going to use, and then... Uh, oh... I need to space this differently, but I mean, I'm not trying to hide it. The next one is from someone called Doni uh, Setawan Solo Games. Um, I'm telling you their usernames just because I want to be transparent about the fact, yeah, I'm using other people's footage. But in both cases, it's footage of story content with no commentary over it. So other than the fact that you have control over the camera while talking to the spiritualist and doing your delivery, um, and I don't remember if this YouTube user was like making the camera move around or not, I'm not really taking content from other YouTubers. It's game content. So if anybody is familiar with them and, and, and like they're upset, I'm just telling you flat out, I'm borrowing gameplay footage from uploads from uh, Paranoia's Dungeon and from Donnie Setlon Solo Games, Setlon, whatever. 
and uh, I'm not really stealing your footage. We're all stealing footage from the game. Um, I've had discussions of like all this brought up, like you know, the it's a new creative product when you put your stamp on it with your commentary, and I'm like. I don't know. I, I've never been one who felt like you had a whole lot of leg to stand on if a content provide like if Nintendo doesn't want you putting their stuff on YouTube. I'm like, well, oh, that kind of sucks, but I guess it's their game. Um, yeah, I feel like if if either of these guys get upset, I'm like I'm giving you credit, um, but yeah, you guys didn't make Death Stranding either, so hopefully nobody gives a shit. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna play. Um, what happens when you first reach the spiritualist base? It's just, it's up in the mountains. Like, I, I think I showed on the map where it was at the end of my last video. So yeah, we had to make our way up there, and uh, that involved finding snow drifts as opposed to rocks to drive through. And we did it, and this is what happens when you get there. You deliver your requested cargo, of course. Make BB feel better by connecting up nearby facilities. I still don't understand how it was supposed to work, but it was supposed to work. They're not wearing their shades, so you can tell it's a totally different play style than mine. Hopefully they delivered in good quality, because I did, and I got a message. That crystals told me you were coming. I read his mind through the tea leaves. It will reveal the secrets of the graves. I'm going to date it. And lay bare the cause of the death stranding. Oh, okay, she's so gonna dress and up pretty and get it to ask you out for dinner. All she's gonna date it. All the secrets of the cosmo shall be revealed. Oh, the of the cosmo. Did you know this mountain used to be a pyramid in ancient times? <laughs> it's true. It was full of grain. A place closer to the beach than this. To the wellspring, a source of untold power. The mana tree. How else do you think that chiral network of yours works? You don't think it's based on crystal energy power of dead aliens, and you don't know shit. And again, she asks you to show her something and then looks at it for herself, because you aren't showing it to her, really. Alright, so... What are you not, how can you not be skipping through this? I am impressed by your patience. Um, are we going to see your... Yeah, we'll see your name in a second. Let's see how this uh, delivery person rates before to me. They're a skilled transporter, and I can't really make out their name. But I think they're higher level than I am, so I am ashamed. Yeah, unless I'm higher level than you are, in which case, shame on you. But I don't remember what my level is. Like me, they've got, like, nothing towards delivery time, because who gives a fuck? Like, you got to go out of your way and take special missions just to boost that, and I have no idea what it would do. Hook me up, baby. Date me! Like I'm going to date these stones. Hook me up. It still feels weird to connect this shit and not have BB there freaking out along with you. You have to freak out by yourself. Oh man, look at all the crystal energy flying around. It's moon crystal power. I'm totally into spirit stones now. Yep. Here we are. And uh, you can see we fill in a little bit of map, but there's still a chunk of map right there. I spent like several minutes moving around the map looking at places. In my video, which is now Lost of the Ages, uh, I was like going around the map looking at places there might be more people. There's pretty clearly somebody, probably just one person, who's still in those mountains somewhere. So here's not connected to Carl Network, whoopty shit. Now I have everything I need to date the stencil. Once I know the stencils done, taste in laundry and will buy bridges. You've done a good thing, Sam. You're a good boy. If you find anything else, be sure to bring it straight to me. I mean anything, I'll like you know, waiting. the crap you took outside that's frozen, bring I'm it in. Certain that it will be of use to you in your journey. And she gives us like a freaking dream catcher. I did not even bother to go. Like I believe this is meant probably as a joke. That this would be useful somehow. It might have a. Uh... Oh, I didn't even get to see the name. The guy clicked right by us. Till we meet again. Stay away from those uh, baby eating Satan worshippers. is in excellent condition. No evidence of lingering attachments or homesickness either. 
Perhaps its memory was erased after all. I love destroying personalities. I'm sure for playing that one game on Steam sloppily. Take it for a run. I was hoping to return it to you as soon as possible, but uh, eh. I don't want to. I mean, I do, but it's a little more complicated than that. Yeah, because I don't. I don't want to. We've got a problem. Hey, whoa! I, I shouldn't have talked over that. Like Sam actually said something in one of these scenes. That's crazy. I don't know if that's ever happened before. Perform some additional tests on the BB in the field, and now I find myself unable to return. Well, maybe I could, but if you would stop interrupting me, Sam, you're constantly talking when I'm trying to talk. Let's meet there. Okay, so he wants to meet on a mountain, whatever. He wants to go meet at Mount Doom. New orders are available. It's impossible to cure. Well, you're exhausted, and you should have rested better or used a motorbike, or I don't know how you got up there because I didn't watch. But uh, I know this uh, player now, that was, thank you very much for your efforts here in Oya's Dungeon. Now we're going to steal footage, I mean borrow footage from Donnie Setaiwan Solo Games. I mean, if, if somebody like, you know, if I was on like some online thing and someone had to read my username without ever, ever seeing it before, the worst they could do is Mysterious Jug. <laughs> <laughs> I make it fairly painless, at least for the name of English speakers, I suppose. But anyway, so this is what happens when you hop on your motorbike and drive towards that cabin. Because at least this person had the sense to use a motorbike. But yet, you, you have like zero visibility, whiteout conditions at a few stretches on this, which was interesting. Uh, but then you get this close to the cabin, and this happens. It sounds a lot louder in this video. I farted in here! That much cargo. Got a lot of empty racks. Sam, stay away. I mean, never mind. Help me. Ah! There are like crabs being thrown in the air. And there's a whale. So that's that's a Kojima special flying whales. Anyway, this this uh, solo games two three 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 whatever. They're a master transporter, about the same grade that that other person was. Pretty close. And they just earned a trophy. So congratulations for that. Uh, I probably earned that trophy too, depending on what the trophy is, but I had my notifications shut off, so... I'm only now becoming aware of just how many great trophies I have won. But we're going to a new chapter, so I guess we're leaving that uh, save load game face behind. We'll see who it is for the next chapter. Because this is like chapter ending cinematics, I guess I spoiled that. We got a lot of dead crabs. And baby dolls, and I don't mean the kind of hang out with Jimmy Val. Val. Oh no, baby dolls with uh, uh, Jimmy Carmen. That's, oh no, that was. I'm getting my 80s wrestling valets mixed up. Anyway, that's not what's important now. Dead man is he now? Not that he doubted us before, or he didn't make a point of it like Mama did. Now he appears to have been sucked into like. Nazi zombie flashbacks of World War II. And he doesn't look like he was made for speed, was he? Well, I hope my codex working. I'm... Oh, solo games. There you go. So he's getting... He threw in a little logo to catch out people like me who are trying to not get in his... Oh, good. We've got Cthulhu, uh, or, like, or dead tentacles, at least, up on the tank. So that's... And skeletal soldiers marking behind tents that are tanks that have disembodied tentacles flailing about. This is a sign that things are going well. Are the dead supposed to be organizing an army to try to fight their way back to the world of the living? Dead man? Honestly? He is taking this with more, um. I don't know what the word is. He's got more calm more of a pragmatic approach to what's happening to him than I might have in this situation. I feel like I attack my problems with pragmatism, but uh, he's, he's being tested here, and he's he's just kind of like, this isn't good. I'm not pretending it's good, but I'm not like, yeah, you, you got dead a little baby dolls that are all mutilated floating up to you in some kind of undead tar. Yeah, most people wouldn't just be like, huh. Megan, he has been hang carrying around like Freak baby in a glass jar for this whole time. Yeah, I'd get underneath that bridge and 
Try to stay out of sight of those soldiers if I were you. That's 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 just your advice for me, the series chief. Nope. Now we got babies floating in death water who are flashing red because you know it wasn't creepy. Kojima wants us to understand this is creepy, so. Trying a little extra hard there. I'm gonna sip of some decaf tea while I wait for even more spookiness to appear. Enjoying the video that's now lost. I spent this entire time gang. No, I need to I need to end the video. What are you doing? <laughs> I didn't intend to trigger an eight hour long cutscene. This is not an eight hour long cutscene. This is this is gonna wrap up fairly shortly. Um But I think we know who's about to appear. Is I weeps taco sauce. He built the Death Star. He's presumably been in other movies that I haven't seen. Ladies and gentlemen. Mads Mikkelsen. With his melting helmet of undead energy. <laughs> He's trying to shush me. But I keep providing commentary so no one can claim that this isn't a new straight up material. Oh cool, and he's got like tentacles of electric death. That's nice. His compass is a little funky. Go on, say it. You know you want to say BB. I guess he's just gonna have a little orgastic sigh. Oh, of course we go to his pants. Yes, solo games, thanks. I did not realize a logo would be popping up. It is not the worst thing I've seen someone do in a video. Or heard them do. Constant name chatter is probably more annoying to some than a solo games. Are you one of those people? Yes, you are. I can see. I can see you smiling. I am not going to play your ad, though. Get out of here with that nonsense. Client success executive. At what ADP. A... At ADP. We interrupt your let's play. All right. Episode 7, I think, Clifford the Big Red Dog. I guess this soldier is going to turn out to be named Clifford. Mads Mikkelsen's most famous character. After Death Star Inventor and... Guy whose eye weeps taco sauce and wants to destroy James Bond falls. His most famous role after that is obviously Clifford the Big Red Dog. Or perhaps Clifford the Big Red World War II soldier? Hi, this is Mom. I don't know why I'm calling. I'm calling you to say that you're not experiencing Sam. what you say you're experiencing. Sam! Dead man. You made the pants oh, too long, Sam. God, I got through. Where are you? No idea. I'm seeing tanks and soldiers. The uniforms date back over a century. World War II era. Yeah, that's my guess. I'm glad we're on the same page, dead man. <laughs> Did you see the man leading the soldiers? We spent a lot of time looking at his no. face in those I cinematics. Think I think it's... Told us about. And him not talking. Well, They're really boy, proud that they got this famous guy to do the face. He must be our ticket home, right? Sure, whatever. Don't ask me. This is only my second time. Well, that's infinitely more experience than I have. It'll be hard to find. Lucky for you, I've got BB here in tip-top shape, just waiting for you. Yeah, everything about this Where is lucky. Is there anything unusual or distinct near you? Well, there's a lot of zombie soldiers and undead Hang shit. Oh. I can see a tower through a hole, a square tower, right above my position. Cthulhu's sitting That's on top it. of it. I'll find it and search for a sewer entrance. Can you sit tight for now? Gladly. I won't move an inch. I might fart. Yeah, well, if I'm start. slow, you might have to. What? That warrior asshole wasn't after me. He was after BB. Oh, fuck me. Oh, I hope that's all he does, but I don't think that's his plan. It's you. Oh no. Hurry the hell up, Sam! Keep it together. I'm on my way. And don't hook up BB either. We'll lead him straight to you. Oh boy. <laughs> boy, the this shit. Since you hate them. I just did because I was scared to death. Disconnect. Now. Uh, already done. Don't let him take BB. How? If he shows up with his soldiers, what do you expect me to do? Fight back? No, I mean, at least continue and retry a few times. Myself, well, <sighs> you won't. I'm ending the call. Coward. I mean, Sam, friend. It's not easy being me. It's not easy. No wife, no children, no friends. No, dead and man, so I'm a Let's Player. Don't hit me with that. So company in the dead. Um. Over time. The I dead, and of course my pets. Me. Anyone who couldn't Seven tell others what I had done. I today. But meeting you... 70%? That's pretty precise. ...has opened my eyes. You're very special, Sam. I want to marry you. Cool. Alright, well, um... If you want to click on these links, you can't. <laughs> but I suppose you can look them up if you really want to... 
look them up. Um, we can do that. Uh, in the meantime, this is not as short as I thought it would be. Uh, so I guess I only had about 10. No, you know what? That, that video that, that got destroyed went probably about 40 minutes almost because I thought I was going to be wrapping up a video right about, I was like, oh, you know, it's a little early, but I'll pause here and save. And then I was like, no, I'll drive like another quarter inch and boom, trigger this uh, cinematic. So when we come back next time, things will be back to normal, I guess. I don't know. I'm about to sit down because I need to do it this week for my channel. I'm about to record some Neo 2. Luckily, uh, there's not a lot of English language dialogue for me to be quipping against. So if sync is off slightly, it won't matter. But it will matter if entire videos are eaten by the internet. They're not even the internet by my uh, recording software. Um, Neo, on the other hand, considering what I'm planning to do with those videos, it should be a much lesser deal uh, to re repeat content than it is in Death Stranding. But... Um, Either way, whatever. So big ups and thanks to um, Paranoia's Dungeon and uh, or Dorney Setaiwan Solo Games, both of whom have more uh, subscribers than I do, so it's not like I'm trying to talk down, but I'm just saying, um, yep, um, I haven't cobbled something together from scratch to quite this extent since I did uh, the ending video for Final Fantasy 13. And while this was a lot less work, it was also a lot less amusing. So when we come back next time, I'm looking forward to my next Death Stranding play session. Like, uh, it could be interesting being back in the World War II zone, having somebody else human there, so it's not quite like... I feel like eventually, like, we're going to have to figure out what that is actually about. There, there can't be that much story left, in a sense, because there's not that much map left. Um, at least before we get advanced to some final gameplay zone, which I happen to have had spoiled for me. We don't have a gameplay zone of the equivalent size of the one we're in left to explore. So answers have to be coming soon. Let's just hope that uh, I'm able to successfully record them without blowing up my recording system. See you guys next time.